Hello, yes, you have made it to heaven with me. Here we are, this is proof, or are we in Megev, the famous ski resort? Yes, we're in Megev. So, let's walk through the town. I'm gonna to give you some facts from my phone because I'm always ever so prepared. Fact number one is it's a nightmare for parking here. I, I, just driving around, it's very difficult and the spaces are very small. It's one of those ski resorts which is near Chamonix and Saint-Gervais. It's not as high as Chamonix and it's more expensive, funnily enough. It's actually one of the newer resorts. So it was actually, it's been designed by the Rothschild family. It wasn't like Chamonix, which is an old kind of, uh, the oldest ski resort and it was built by the local people. But as you can see, it's very pretty. I'll give you a spin round. Here's the tourism office and these little statues, you get those in Lyon as well. If anyone knows why, let me know below. So we just have a nosy through. It's, it's known for its shopping and being a bit more luxury kind of based resort. You've got a lot of Michelin star restaurants and stuff like that. And yes, yeah, so the season wasn't so good for skiing this year. The prices, I would say, for accommodation are much more here. But on this channel, we don't give lots of information, although in the description box below, I will give some price information and stuff like that. If you're interested in the other ski resorts, then check out the channel. I've done a few in Switzerland and France. So yeah, it depends what you're looking for from a resort. If you're coming here to kind of live the high life and go shopping and basically have more of a family experience, I'd come here. If you want to get pissed and basically have a good laugh and party, then Leger, Chamonix would be better. So you've got this kind of stuff for the kids. This is the main square, by the way. And we could just see if this guy speaks English. So, uh, bonjour. Uh, vous parlez en anglais un petit non, peu? Non, pas du tout. <laughs> c'est le prix, c'est quoi? Ah, là, on peut... 15, 15 minutes, oui. premier tour, tour du village, 36 so euros. 15 minutes is 36 euros. Oui. 30 minutes, 50 50 euros. 50 euros for 30 minutes. Ok. Ou après des façons Mont Blanc plus longues. 35 minutes, et 30, 45 minutes. Et un autre question, euh, vous préférez ici ou Chamonix Pour le ski. Ah, pour le ski, ah. Euh... C'est vous préférez ici ou Chamonix Peut-être Chamonix, ouais. Chamonix, oui. ok. Voilà. Merci, monsieur, bonne journée. He prefers Chamonix. You know, it depends what you're looking for. But anyway, we're not comparing now. The camera's very wobbly. It's, uh, I'm not sure why. But let's have a good look around here. So you've got loads of fancy shops. I like this baubles thing here. So another thing about here is, is you've got a, a super cool spa. It's like a spaceship. And that's basically, if you come through the old town part, we're in the old town part now, although it's all new. It was built in like the 1920s, I think. And it was actually designed on Saint Moritz, which is in Switzerland. This is kind of the French version of that. And it's just one long road like this. And then parallel to it, you've got the, the leisure center and the sports center. And that's where this super cool spa is. And if you watch the channel, you'll know I'm partial to a few spas. Let's go up here. I did see a girl actually with a tattoo, a French girl. It said, 
when life gives you, and if there was a tattoo of a lemon, it says make lemonade, in English, funnily enough. So I, I like all of this uh, natural streams running through the village and stuff like that. It's, and there's no driving through the town as well, so it's a bit like Zermatt. It looks like Michael Jackson's. The stylist of Michael Jackson lives here as well. Now I did read that a lot of famous people come to Mezhev, so it's, it's like I said, it's a highbrow one. I'm going to find out how much the ski pass costs now. Let's compare some prices. As always, we've got the phone. Because if you wanted me to memorise all the prices. So the ski lift price, the day ticket for Chamonix is 52 euros for an adult. To be honest, they're all pretty similar. 46 euros for here. And you know, on this channel, I like to show you the reality. So you've got the fancy street down there and then the rest of it looks like this. So you've just got that one road, which is nice. I have stayed in an Airbnb here a while ago and it was super nice, but yet again, the problem was the parking. And there's no snow, it's really bizarre. I know my friend Luke likes it here. Maybe he should be doing the vlog with me. But it's one of these places I like to just walk around, have a nosy round, really. At the end of the video, I'll give you my favorite place. So price-wise, a hot dog is eight euros. How much is a pint of beer here? Hello, by the way. Hello. Uh, it's a special day. You don't have the beer here. If you want to have beer, you have but to go on the terrace. Is, is it an expensive resort? Is it more expensive than Chamonix? Uh, Megev, you mean? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's more expensive. Of course, And yes, what, yeah. what information can you tell me? Why is Megev good? What Why is Megev good? Yeah. Uh, I guess because it's expensive <laughs> and you have lots of uh, beautiful shops like Big Boss and uh, things like that. So it's chic. Yes, yeah, very I need chic. He said shit then. <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> to each own where, where do you prefer? Where do I prefer? You mean uh, between Chamonix and Megev? Exactly. Maybe? Uh, well, I would say Chamonix. Chamonix, right. Yeah, because this is a bit like uh, Disney, you know? Disneyland, yeah. It's a bit artificial. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree. Artificial and, and high uh, prices. Yes, high prices. Yeah. Okay, cool. Where are you from in France? Uh, I'm from Fontainebleau, do you know? No, where? It's north uh, or? south of Paris. Oh, I've 60 kilometers just been to Paris and I bloody loved it. Really? Yeah. Okay, it's perfect. super yeah. cool. But thank you. And just thank another you fact, uh, anything else? About like, Megev? Yeah. Well, uh, Megev has been like, uh, if Megev is like this now, it's thanks to the Rothschild family. Okay. If you know about this. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, all this is thanks to the Rothschild and they have plenty of things there. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if this is different from uh, Chamonix, this is because of the Rothschild who okay. wanted to make it uh, an upper place, I would say. And it's lower, the ski's worse, isn't it? Uh, actually, yes. Okay. <laughs> but we have a great, uh, very big. Uh, but, but you're being honest. Ski domain. You're being honest. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> it's, cheers, thank you. And you. So, yeah, basically, he's just said it the reality of the town. It's, uh, it was designed for to be a bit more upmarket, but it's actually worse than Chamonix. If we're being honest, ladies and gents. And now we're nearly at the end of the town. So I will tell you that my personal favorite is Chamonix. And then I'd most probably have to say the Porte de Soleil. And then we're going into Swiss territory then. Um, but my ultimate favorite place to go in the mountains would be Lukabad in Switzerland. I love it there. Right, so basically we're at the end of the town. So I am going to take you through this way just so we can get a good look around because other vloggers I've noticed they like to show you just the nice bit whereas I want to show you everything. 
we'll have a look at how much a gaff costs here as well. Why not? Oh, dog fight. Dog fight. Two ladies fighting over me. <laughs> no. Which dogs was it? Oh, it's always a little dog. Thinks he's bigger than the other dog. That tiny little bugger down there. With that bigger dog there. Not the bear though. The bear's not real. We're, we're not in Canada all of a sudden. Right, so how much... A three bedroom apartment here will cost you 1 million 300,000 euros. And for a seven bedroom villa, it's 15 million. So yeah, it's serious cash here. Six bedroom, 13 million. So if anyone, any of you guys from the UK are thinking of coming over to to set up camp, then you better win the Euro Millions first. So this is the reality of the parallel street. <laughs> and as we're here, we can just quickly look at some prices as well. And here's a lovely horse. I thought that was quite expensive. Oh, he's very friendly, this guy. But yeah, it's got loads of arty shops and stuff like this. So like I said, it depends what you're looking for from your, your experience on a ski holiday. You know, everyone's opinions are gonna be different. So basically, if you head down that way, then you head towards the spa. And if you head down this way, then you just end up where I've parked. So we are gonna walk this way. <laughs> kind of reminds me a little bit of Con, Montana. It's got that kind of a feel where you come more for a family kind of place. Whereas Chamonix is definitely more for, for what I would say young people going out having a good time. And definitely the Porte de Soleil as well. So we're back where we started, ladies and gents. If you're comparing prices to Switzerland, it's way cheaper, although the guy just said it's expensive compared to Chamonix. And yeah, these ski resorts, I like doing them. Uh, there's a good pharmacy here as well, as with all the resorts. And if you're a skier, then let me know below which one is actually better for skiing. I did hear that Verbier was the best, and that's in Switzerland. And then Avoria was good as well. And I've done those, they're on the channel. There's gonna be more Paris. There's gonna be London, hopefully, Amsterdam. And then if any of you made it to this part of the video, and I'm gonna test you, then you can tell me below. I'm thinking of going to Asia and doing some crazy, experience outside of Europe so you can tell me where I should go below in the comments so yes please like comment subscribe that's it from Mezhev it's very small it's not as high as Chamonix it's not as good as Chamonix and I will leave you with that so cheers guys thanks for watching bye